Hello second graders and welcome to our math lesson for today. Today we're going to be doing lesson 8.8 .8, which is called choose a tool and the essential question that we're going to be asking ourselves and answering at the end of this lesson is how do you choose a measuring tool to use when measuring lengths? Hello! There were some workers in the woodland earlier. They were talking about putting new covers around the trash cans to make them look nicer. I think that's a great idea. Click the trash can to see my idea for a new cover. How's this? Not bad, huh? But, you know, in order to cover the trash can, the workers will need to know the measurement around the can. I wonder what they should measure it with. Come on, let's see how to choose a measuring tool. <laughs> Each of these strings shows a different distance. Let's measure each distance using color tiles. Start with the first string. Let's place the left edge of the first tile under the left end of the string. Now let's place color tiles side by side with no space between them until we reach the right end of string. So what's the length of the string in color tiles? It measures five color tiles. Now measure the length of the second string. Again, let's place the left edge of a tile under the left end of the string. And then we place more tiles of the same size next to each other with no space between them until we reach the other end of the string. What's the length of the second string? It measures eight color tiles. Which string is longer? The second string is longer. Let's look at some tools for measuring lengths and distances. An inch ruler shows one foot. You can use it to measure shorter lengths, like the length of a phone or a pencil. A yardstick shows three feet. You can measure greater lengths and distances with it, like the length of a wall or the height of a door. You can use a measuring tape to measure lengths and distances that aren't flat or straight, like the distance around a basketball or the distance around a drinking glass. You can bend a measuring tape around curved objects. Which is the best tool to measure the length of a pen? Select your answer. So measuring a pen, right, we wouldn't use a measuring tape because like she said, it's used for something that's like flat um, or something that you don't need um, the uh, tool to kind of bend with. So we wouldn't use measuring tape. Yardstick, remember what she said, a yardstick is three feet long. So a yardstick is the same or equal to um, three 12 inch rulers being side by side with each other. So a pen uh, wouldn't be three feet long. So the best option to measure a pen with would be the inch ruler. That's right. A pen is a short straight object. So the best tool for measuring the length of a pen is the inch ruler. Now let's practice with the personal math trainer. All right, so let's give it a try. So it says, Rachel wants to measure the length of a table. Should she use an inch ruler or a yardstick? Select the correct explanation. So we have two choices here. It says Rachel should use a yardstick because a table is long, or it says Rachel should use an inch ruler because a table is long. So both are saying that the table is long, right? And so let's think about a table. Would, we, would it be easier for us to use a yardstick, which again, remember, is three feet long, or should we use um, an inch ruler? So what I'm thinking is, is if we were to use an inch ruler, we would have to probably use a lot of inch rulers, right? Because one table is not is not only a foot long, it's many feet long, right? So 
Therefore, if we're measuring a table, we should probably use a yardstick because one yardstick has three feet in it. So a yardstick will probably be a lot easier for us to use and we'll only have to use one yardstick. We won't have to use three, four yardsticks like we would with an inch ruler. So I'm thinking that the yardstick is probably the best option. So we're going to click on A and we're going to see if we're correct. Awesome! All right, great. Number two says, choose the best tool for measuring the length of a chalkboard. So it says a measuring tape, an inch ruler, or a yardstick. So let's look at some of our options. Remember, we're measuring a chalkboard, which is, is fairly big, right? So measuring tape. So remember, we could use a measuring tape. A measuring tape would work, right? But remember what she said before. Measuring tapes are usually used for objects that might be round, um, that you can't really, um, they're not flat, right? So that's what we would use a measuring tape for. So you could use a measuring tape to measure the chalkboard if that was the only option. But we, I think, we have some better options here. So let's look at some of the other ones. So B says an inch ruler. Again, you can totally use an inch ruler to measure a chalkboard, right? An inch ruler is, is something that you can use to measure flat surfaces, like a chalkboard, okay? But remember what we said about the table. It, it's, it's the same thing. So an inch ruler, you might need a lot of inch rulers to measure the whole length of the chalkboard, right? Now, our, our last option here is a yardstick. And remember the important thing about a yardstick is that a yardstick is three feet long. So it's the same uh, length as three 12 inch rulers next to each other. So again, we could use an inch ruler to measure the chalkboard, but a yardstick might be a little bit easier because we would only probably need one yardstick. Whereas an inch ruler, if we were going to use inch rulers to measure the length of the chalkboard, we would need probably a lot of, of inch rulers, right? So if we were to use a yardstick or maybe even two yardsticks, that would be a lot easier than using a ton of inch rulers to measure the chalkboard. So I think our best option here is to choose the yardstick. Good job! Okay. So think about long, like big objects. That would be good to use a yardstick with. The bigger the object, the bigger the tool you're going to want to use, right? So an inch ruler, if you remember from um, the previous activity in this video, an inch ruler would be really good in terms of measuring um, smaller objects like pens, um, pencil, a phone, even like your tablet um, or um, like your computer, you would probably want to use an inch ruler to measure that. A yardstick is for something really, really um, big like, again, a chalkboard or a table. Um, you can even use a yardstick to measure something like your dresser, if you have a dresser in your room. That might be a good thing to use a yardstick for. So think bigger. The bigger the object, the bigger the tool you're going to want to use to measure it. Now try your homework on your own with the Personal Math Trainer. It includes the exercise you saw at the beginning of the lesson. So the importance of this lesson was just to kind of get you to understand that there's many different tools to uh, use to measure objects and it's important to know which tool to choose when you're measure, measuring certain objects. So for example, if you're measuring a basketball, you would probably want to use measuring tape, right? Because measuring tape is very, it, you, it's flexible, you can bend it, you can wrap it around the ball, right? And then again, a yardstick is used for a lot bigger objects. An inch ruler, you can use it to measure kind of smaller objects, all right? So the importance of this lesson was to kind of get you used to um, knowing the different tools of measurement and when to use them when you're measuring certain objects, okay? So if you want some more examples of when to use a tape measure or an inch ruler or a yardstick, definitely check out the video next to this one. Otherwise, if you're comfortable with um, knowing the different tools and how to use them to measure objects, then you can log into Think Central and complete the assignment for Lesson 8.8. .8. Okay, everybody? See you in the next video. Bye.